four wheels on a motorcycle. Huh? Hi guys, welcome to Triple Tree. My name is Winston. We've got a four-wheeler with us today, the Cuda Quadro. Here's what we feel about the bike. For more motorcycle reviews, hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook, hit the like button and follow us on our page. This belt-driven bike is designed with a hydro pneumatic suspension, which is also known as Hydraulic Tilting System, HTS for short. HTS mimics a two-wheeler with added benefits like additional traction and stability. When we got on this bike, it makes us feel like pilots because we need to release the manual HTS and disengage the parking brakes every time before we moved off. Riding this bike takes a bit of effort to get used to. We felt quite a lot of hydraulic resistance, especially at low speeds. The HTS interferes with the handling, but improves as you go faster. A very practical feature is that once you apply enough pressure to both brakes, the HTS keeps the bike upright at the stop. It takes some practice, but you no longer have to put your foot down at stoplights. With 32 horsepower, the single-cylinder machine cruises along Singapore's highways with ease. Power handling is smooth and is enough. Still okay. We never notice any heat coming from the bike. Very okay. The size of the bike is quite big. Amos is 1.84 meters tall. Let us show you how he looks on the bike. With Mark coming in as a pillion, he found the pillion seat spacious. There is plenty of space between him and Amos. The turning radius is on the wider side. Because of the resistance of the HTS, the turning radius is even wider when you are doing an actual U-turn. With the manual HTS lock, the bike stands upright, making it super easy to get in and out of the tightest parking lots. The best part of the HTS lock is that the bike holds itself upright, allowing the rider to feel at ease when the pillion mounts the bike. In our opinion, this is not a fun bike. However, it is very practical. The position of the parking brake is not okay. You might break it if you are not careful. We also found the cargo space very small, fitting only one open face helmet. Because of the machine's complexity, the maintenance is definitely higher. But the HTS is very convenient, especially for riders who pillion every day. We also like the idea of not having to put our feet down at stops. Overall, we are very surprised with the convenience and the functionality that this bike offers. If you don't want to deal with balancing a bike at stops, fumbling when the pillion gets on, or like the safety factor of having four wheels on the road, this bike is for you. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you on the road.